This is going to be my review of the Simpsons Chubby 2 Shaving Brush in Best Badger. So first of all, I'm going to go through some details about this brush. I'm going to talk about my experience with it and why I like this brush so much and why, in fact, this is my favorite shaving brush. So, like I said, this is made by Simpsons. Simpsons is an English company that started in 1919 in London. They still continue to produce their own shaving brushes by hand. All of theirs are still handmade, which is very, very impressive. But they've moved out of London. Now they're in the, uh, the countryside. So here's the brush, and it is the Chubby 2. So there's a line of chubby brushes that they produce. Chubby 1, 2, and 3, and those are increasing in size. And this is the middle size, the 2. And it is 95 millimeters tall with a 50 millimeter loft height, and the, the knot diameter is 27 millimeters. And here it is in the, uh, this is a faux ivory brush handle here. It used to be made with ivory, but now they're not, obviously, for many different ethical and economical reasons. So one thing really neat about these brushes is that they're handmade. You know, when you have artisans producing a product that they have perfected through years, you just get a certain quality with it, as opposed to machine making it and stuff like that. And it just it really shows in this. It's just a very, very high quality product that's very, very nice. Um, so why do I love this brush so much? Well, first of all, it's incredibly soft. This, uh, the Best Badger is one of their grades of silver tip, and it's just so, so incredibly soft. The top is just really, really incredible, um, which is one thing that's really, really nice about silver tip badger hair brushes. Secondly, is its density. And this is where this brush really, really stands in front of many other badger hair brushes. It's incredibly densely packed. That's one thing that often deters me from badger hair brushes, is that I, I prefer to face lather. And um, face lather, you need a brush with a good amount of backbone. And often badger hair brushes don't have the amount of backbone. They can become very, very floppy. And you just can't work the lather there into your face. But this one is so densely packed, it's got a ton of backbone. Look at me trying to push this thing over here. It just won't bend. It just There's so many hairs in there. And that really allows me to work it in there and just get a really, really nice lather going. So here I'm going to step behind the camera. So first of all, we're going to do a close up look at this brush. So here it is. All right, so you can see here, Chubby 2 Best Badger Simpsons Handmade Britain. Here it is. Here's all the hairs in here. And I'm going to compare this. This is my Whip Dog 24 millimeter silver tip. And if we compare these two end on end, I think that you can see the extra amount of hairs here in the Chubby. It's just, you can see gaps in this one and stuff like that. I can easily create gaps when I run my finger through it. But this one, Look at this. I mean, it, there's just so many hairs in here. It's unbelievable. So, it's soft. It's got great backbone. And one thing nice about badger hair is that they're very fine. It allows you to create a lather very quickly, especially with all the hairs in here. So when you're creating a lather, you're working in air into it and water, and you're mixing it up. And the extra air, hairs in here allow you to, to mix it up even more quickly and more efficiently and allows you to break down the air bubbles into smaller and smaller air bubbles. So this builds a lather really, really quickly. It's just a pleasure to use. It feels great on your face. You can really work something up very, very quickly. When you're holding on to the brush, the handle, so I think you can see here, it's got a nice size handle on it. This is actually like, it feels like a knob in your hand. It just sits nicely. I never get uh, shaving lather on my hands while I'm using this brush. It's just got a nice feel to it. I can work it there on top of the puck and I hold it here on my face. feels great. Sometimes some of the smaller brush handles, when I'm clamping down like this, if I'm working up a lather for a while, if it's a small handle, my fingers actually they start to cramp a little bit. But with this, you can just hold on to it. feels great in your hand. It feels great to use. I just love this. I think it's a great size brush too. So, Chubby one smaller, Chubby 3 is bigger, but this one, I feel like it's just got a great amount of coverage here on my face. It doesn't cover my entire cheek and this side of my face, but it's big enough that, you know, it doesn't take much effort to cover a whole area. So I'm working up a lather, I just kind of go some circles here, across the front, some circles here, then down my neck, and that's it. It's very, very easy to use. So for all these reasons and more, this has just become my absolute favorite shaving brush. I find it actually hard to go to other shaving brushes now. And you guys know I'm a huge boar fan. Um, I do love boar brushes. They're great. They're, they're just so much cheaper. I mean, you can get a great boar brush, five to 10 bucks. And that's what really sets us apart is that this is gonna be expensive. This is gonna run you almost $180, which is very, very expensive. This is absolutely a luxury item. 
Do you need this brush to get the best shave of your life? No, I do not think that you need this brush to get the best shave of your life. To have the most enjoyable shave? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, that's where it really stands apart for me. I just love using this. It just feels great to use. It's easy to use. It works well with creams and soaps. I've just always had a great experience with this brush. Um, one tip, if you do have this brush or you're considering getting it, is that because it's so densely packed and such a big knot on here, 27 millimeters, it holds a ton of water in here. And if you just, you know, if you soak it here, pick it up, wring it out, and go to like load up your soap or cream and then lather. In my experience, I was having a hard time controlling the lather. It just dissipated out and I couldn't figure out what was going on. It's because there's so much water that this brush holds. So once it's done soaking, before I load up my soap or cream, I pick it up and I actually squeeze at the base and wring it out. And I do that like two or three times. And you can see on my videos, I always do this and the water just pours out of this thing. It holds so much in there. So definitely do that if you have this brush. Wring it out then load up your soap or cream, then you can add in the water slowly to help control your lather to get the kind of lather that you want for your shave. Anyway, here it is, Simpsons Chubby 2 Best Badger. It's my favorite shaving brush. I highly recommend it if you have the, uh, if you have the money to afford it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I received this as a birthday gift. Would I purchase this brush? It's hard to say. Uh, I have been looking at the Chubby 3 in Best Badger, just uh, just because I've loved this one so much, but uh, but anyway, it was a great gift, and I love using this. It's my favorite brush. Let me know if you have it. Let me know your experiences with it. I'm very interested to hear. As always, thank you for watching.